Hello and welcome to Secure Code Warrior. In this module, we'll be looking at NoSQL injection. We'll explain what a NoSQL injection is, its causes and preventions, and some potential hazards. So, what is a NoSQL injection? NoSQL injections occur when an attacker is able to inject malicious code in a NoSQL database. This is typically done through JSON and JavaScript code. What causes a NoSQL injection? The application makes use of NoSQL database and does not properly validate user input before using it to query the database. To understand NoSQL injection vulnerabilities, let's look at some examples. Firstly, we'll look at a normal authentication workflow. Here, a user submits his credentials using POST parameters. The parameters are appended to a database query string that is submitted to the database. The credentials are valid and the appropriate record is returned to the web server. The session cookie is now returned to the browser. The user is now logged in. Now let's look at an example of an authentication bypass. This time, through an interception proxy, an attacker submits input values that change the logic of the query. A NoSQL comparison operator is passed instead of the normal username and password. The username and password from the database will be compared to the empty string, resulting in an always true condition. As a consequence of the always true comparison, the attacker is logged in as the first user in the database, the admin in this case. The session cookie is returned to the browser. The attacker is now logged in as administrator. NoSQL injection could cause several issues. A successful injection could allow an attacker to update, insert or delete data. All data could be exposed or deleted. Access to the hosting system could be gained and authentication could be bypassed. An attacker could alter data such as balance and transaction information, causing repudiation issues. This could result in system unavailability, damaging reputation and credibility, or even customer and revenue loss. To prevent NoSQL injection, input should be JavaScript escaped and validated before being used to query the database. Apply green list validation on all user input, including GET and POST parameters, cookies and other HTTP headers. Use a database ORM instead of raw queries. Sanitize and validate input parameters. Coerce input to the correct types during validation routines. Always apply the least privilege principle on database users. Use explicit comparison operators such as $EQ in query expressions rather than allowing implicit equality matching. Congratulations, you have now completed this module, NoSQL Injection.